It's 12.23 p.m. and Dr. Ted Berger's research team is arriving at the Los Angeles County Hospital to pick up samples of the human brain. Berger's team is researching how to prevent epileptic seizures by studying the hippocampus, a part of the brain where memories are stored and seizures originate. We're waiting for a neurosurgeon to resect the hippocampus tissue, uh, and then we can slice it to uh, thinner slices and carry all the slices back to our lab. About 20 to 30 percent of people with epilepsy are unable to control their seizures using drugs. In these cases, surgical removal of the hippocampus may be the best option. Dr. Berger's team has one hour to get the samples back to the lab. It took us about five or six cases until we find the, the best way to transport the slice. If the slice is not uh, cold enough and it's not oxygenated, uh, the slice will decay very, very soon. The team makes good time spending less than 30 minutes in traffic before arriving back on campus to prepare the tissue samples for testing. Today's sample is smaller than usual. Usually you got um, around 15 slices. As long as we can get one or two slices which is in, in good condition, then we can start uh, doing research on that specific slice. I just met the ACSF, which stands for artificial spinal cerebral fluid. Basically, the, fr the solution mimics the solution in our brain. So if we keep the slice in the, the same environment, we can keep it alive. We are waiting for the slices to recover for an hour. Once the samples are stabilized, the team is able to begin testing. Epileptic seizures are caused by uncontrolled electrical activity in the brain. But in the lab, the researchers chemically induce seizure activity. We induce the seizure by applying different uh, drugs into the uh, ACSF solutions. Once we observe the uh, seizure activity, then we will uh, put our electrode where the seizure is set. And then we apply different uh, parameters of stimulation, including different frequency, different amplitude, different patterns and try to see if these stimulation can stop the seizure activities. Berger's lab is making strides in learning about epileptic seizures. A paper on their methodology is coming out next month. While they're optimistic their work will ultimately lead to a treatment for epileptic seizures, they still need more test samples. Usually we'll get uh, one per month, and uh, sometimes we'll get uh, three cases per month. But usually the more the better because we can try different samples and, or we can collect more data.